Hello, my name is Kishwani. It's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. We want to sharpen our math skill. Before I go, before I go on with what we have for today, I just wanted to take care of a boo boo that I made yesterday. This particular problem that you see here, in a college, I'm going to read it to you. In a college, there are 700 seniors and 600 juniors. Among these 1,300 students, there are 12 pairs of twins, each consisting of one junior and one senior. The question simply is, if you were to pick one student from junior class and one student from senior class, if, if one student is to be selected at random from each of these two classes, what are the odds that that pair of, uh, what are the odds that a pair of twins will be chosen? This particular question, if you did it, it is, what I'm about to say is nothing earth shattering. This was for day number 14. This was for yesterday. This was day number 14. And I forgot to switch the number on the top. Today is our day number 15. So let's raise it, this thing. And let's, let's start the work for today. Day number 15. Another word problem, but not dealing with probability, but a problem dealing with the average for today. Here's the problem. For the past several days, the average daily production at a factory has been 70 units. So for the past several days, on average, the factory has been producing 70 units, whatever they're producing. 70 widgets, 70 cars, whatever it is that they're making. Today, I don't like it today. Today, factory produces one hundred fifteen units, and as a result. The average average production that is the average production goes up to seventy five units per day. Question simply is for how many days? was the average 70. For how many days was the average 70? One more time, I'm going to read it to you in one shot. For the past several days, the average daily production at a factory has been 70. Today, the factory produces 115 units. And as a result, as, as a result the average production shoots up to 75 units per day. The question simply is, for how many days in the past was the average 70? That's what it is. Pause the video. This is a good time to pause the video. Work on it yourself. Once you have the solution, you can resume the video and compare the work that we did to, that we're going to do together and the work that you did it on your own. The work that you're about to do it do on your own. Always work on the problem yourself. You will, you will find that you will get a hell of a lot more out of it than simply watching the whole video without interruptions. Pause it. I'll give you a few seconds. So what did you do? Well, there are two ways of solving this problem. One is what I call the classical way. The 
the orthodox way. The conventional way, the traditional way, the geeky way, the nerdy way, the proper way, the academic way, the mathematical way, the way your math teacher would expect you to solve this problem. And then there is one other one what I call the quick and dirty way, the unconventional way. I, pers I myself prefer to uh, do it the quick and dirty way, get it over with and go on to the next problem. Nobody's gonna give nobody's gonna give you an extra credit for doing all the work and solving it properly, mathematically, algebraically. So why the hell do it then? So I'm gonna do the unconventional way first. Here's what's going on. We have a whole bunch of we have a whole bunch of 70. So here's the solution. We have a whole bunch of 70s. How many? We do not know. Now when I say 70s, it does not mean that in the past, every single day the factory was producing 70 units. It doesn't mean that. Maybe maybe one day they produce uh, 69 units, the next day they produce uh, 70 units, another day they produce 71 units. You see, every day is a different production here, but the average of these three numbers is 70. The average of these three numbers is 70, which is same as saying that on average they produce 70 units every day. Because here they produce 71, here they produce 69. So here they produce one unit more than norm, and here they produce one unit less than norm. So on average it is 70. That's what we're saying here, that on average their production was 70 for the past several days. Whole bunch of 70s. But that does not mean that in practice they produce exactly 70 units every single day. It is quite likely that in practice and realities there may have been not a single day when the production was exactly 70. But the average is 70, which is, which as far as the math is concerned boils down to the same as saying they produce 70 units every day. And then one day, out of the blue, they produced 115 units. That was a good day. The question simply was, for how many days had they been producing 70 units a day? For how many days was was this going on in the past? Well, as a result, when they did that, as a result, the average, the average goes up, goes up to 70. So here they produce 115 units that particular day, but 75 is what the average is after that day, which means how many units are extra left over? 5 minus 5 is 0, 11 minus 7 is 40. There are 40 extra units that are, that are, that are, that are 40 extra units that are to be distributed, that are to be distributed among all the days in the past, so that every single day we have 75. Well, how far can you go with 40 if you were to give put extra 5 units, uh, uh, a composite for the extra 5 units every single day for the past? There are 40 of them. Only 8 days. 40 divided by 5. 40 divided by 5 is 8. There must have been 8 such days. You see, I'm going to put 8 of them so you can see them. There must have been 8 of them. We have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. All of these 8 days will get extra 5. All of these units will get extra 5. This 40 will be distributed among 8 days. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Voila! So now every day we have 75 units including including the very last day right here where in reality we produce 115 units but on average it is 75 so there, there were 8 days now what I'm going to do is we're going to solve the same exact problem algebraically, mathematically, in a proper way not because this is what I would expect you to do in the exam not because this is what I would do in the exam myself had I been taking the exam but because uh, in case you're curious to satisfy your curiosity as to how in the world would you do it algebraically? So that's what we're going to do here. What I'm going to do is erase this problem. You already have it. You will copy it down. I'm going to erase it because I need the room and we're going to solve it algebraically on the top.
So, there were several days in the past when we were producing 70 units every day. So, let's say for example, if, if, there, were, if there were five such days where we produce on average 70 units, and if there were five such days, then during those five days, we must have produced 70 times 5. If there happened to be nine such days, then during those nine days, we must have produced 9 times 70, because the average was 70. How do you find the average? You take the sum divided by 9. That's If you divide by 9, it gives you the average of 70. We know that there were n such days. We do not know how many. Let's just call it n. So this was our total production during the n days. And then the very last day, we happened to produce 115. So the top there represents 70 times n plus 115 represents the total production over n total production over all these days. And how many how many days do we have? Well we have n days, n days for this period where the average was 70, plus this one day. There we go. So here we have total production for all the days, including the very last day. So this is our total production divided by the number of days and we know that that average is 75. That's it, that's the biggest hurdle. Coming up with the, coming up with the right equation is the biggest hurdle, the rest is downhill. So let's cross multiply. So we have 70n plus 115 equals, if we were to take this quantity and cross multiply, we get 75 times n plus 1. Open the parenthesis, so we get 75n plus 75 and here we have 70n plus 115. Subtract 70n from both sides. This cross that out and we get 115 and then subtract 75 from both sides. So here we get 5 minus 5 is 0, here we get 40, and here we get 75n minus 70n, we get 5n, voila, you see, right here, 5n equals 40, just like here, 5n equals 40, see, we have 40 here, and we have to divide by 5 to get our 8, n must be 8, so this is the top that you see is the classical way, the bottom is the unconventional way, quick and dirty way, that was it, that was the end for today. If you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring for GRE, Gmail, SAT or TOEFL, go to any of these website addresses that you see there, prep for GRE.com, prep for Gmail.com, prep for SAT.com or prep for TOEFL.com and send me an email. All of these addresses will take you to the same website which is KeshwaniPrep.com. Send me an email and I will do whatever it is that I can to help you in your preparation. Alright? Thanks.